Welcome back, 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 back again, again, again. Sweet pies back, back, back. Tell a friend, friend, friend. Guess who's back? 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 They're just going to keep getting weirder and weirder, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing, I know, oh gosh, see, I knew it wasn't going to translate on camera as well as I thought. I am in love with this like blush draping look. I wore it yesterday when we went to the fair, and in real life it looks so dimensional, but I don't know if it translates through the camera. Either way, I'm sure you've seen the title. Today we are actually going to review, I'm going to talk about the Pixie and Rach Loves Layering Highlighter Palette. Now I got this last week. I have a little story time, so I'll try and put a timestamp right here if you do not want to hear my story time and you just want to see inside this palette swatches. I'm going to do with some face highlighting both sides, all that good stuff for you guys. And yeah, um, let's just get into this because I know this is going to be long. Make sure you subscribe, obviously. Make sure you click the bell notification if you want to be, like, notified. And yeah, let's get into this okay. story time. So, let's set the scene. I am in my work and I am getting ready to leave and I'm thinking, you know what, I, you know, I'm going to go over to Shoppers and I'm just going to check and see if the uh, hair dye that I've been using for my green is still on sale. You know, I should buy another one if I want to maintain it. And I go over there and there is a lady there and I love her. She is so cute. She's so amazing. She's so adorable. Um, and so I go over there and we're talking, chatting, you know, doing the damn thing. And I'm like, you know, talking about, uh, makeup and eye mats and all that good stuff. And she, I just, I don't even know what happened, but I like, I was bringing up YouTubers because she knows that I do do YouTube on the side. And we started to talk about YouTubers and I mentioned Rach Loves as a Canadian YouTuber that I guess you could possibly see at IMATS maybe. And she was like, you know what? That name rings a bell. Okay, I don't know if this was like a new thing to me and I feel like this is going to be embarrassing. But there are, and I don't know why this didn't click to me because of course at Sephora that is something. But they're always, like the drawers are always open. So at my Shoppers Drug Mart, they have the same thing. They have all these drawers underneath all of the displays. Now, I'd seen them here, there, and everywhere before, and it looked like all there was was like duplicates and whatnot in there. But she goes up, and she bends down, and she opens it, and I'm just like, Ugh. it's like a whole bunch of new releases. So not only did I grab the Rach Loves, I also grabbed one of the new Physicians Formula Rose All Day highlighters. Let me know if you want to see that. Maybe I can go and apply it on Instagram or something like that. I'm, I only bought one of them. It's not like I bought like the whole set. I think they have three of them. But regardless, let me know anyway. Today we're going to look at this one. This was a very long story. Long story short, I guess, is that I found out that there is an insane drawer underneath those. And I found out that that girl is so amazing and she loves me. So, you know, maybe she'll let me in on some of the new releases, you know, once in a while. Because I can't even find this on my shopper's website yet. So, yeah, really excited about that, you know, getting a little sneak peek. Anyway, let's... uh go into this palette. When I first got this, of course I was excited. I was so, 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 so excited to get this, but I wasn't, I don't know. I don't think I was expecting it to be this good. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is beautiful, 
there is no way you're going to be unhappy with this unless you're like a maybe like a, a deep skin tone I know that this shade it is dark but that is like the only shade in the palette that I think would really fit a deeper skin tone so as long as you're light medium you know even tan I think you will get used out of this and I feel like this this highlighter palette is similar not a duplicate but very similar to if I can get it open their highlighters their glowy gossamer duos this is in delicate dew so beautiful they are so soft like they're so soft they're so pretty um like these ones in here are a little wetter in formula but like they just glide on for days like freaking days and I should have known that obviously someone like Rage Loves would come out with such a beautiful formula with Pixie. It's just, it's bomb. I, I don't even know, like I was like trying to think of like negative aspects to it and really the only thing I can think of is that if you are a darker skin tone you may have issues with any other color other than like this one and maybe Zipper, maybe. Um, Zipper is like a duochrome purple highlight. It is super pretty as well. It's a little like... I thought it was a little on the chalky side at first, but like the glow on there, I'm going to, you know, I'll put some on my face and we will kind of experiment because she does call this the layering palette. And I do think that it does that exactly. It does layer beautifully on top of each other. These two are definitely, oh, they are the smoothest. And like, look at the freaking pan size. Like, it's huge. Like, that's three fingers wide of pan size. And I did write down... Oh, but see like oh my goodness it is really beautiful these ones are just stunning I'm thoroughly happy about this um yes here we go so uh they are three shades are 2.5 grams which are the little triangular shades or the square shades that they just turn to triangles and then two shades the ones at the bottom are 7.65 grams so almost eight grams of products of products there's a 24 month shelf life powders it's up to you um the price i'm pretty sure that this was over 35 dollars in my shoppers when i bought it now i did not save the receipt so i cannot give you a 150 percent price but when i went on the pixie website and i cross-referenced their international website is in pounds for some reason so I just converted pounds to Canadian dollars and it was about $35 so let's say it's around $35 that is expensive for drugstore we all know that Pixie is like a tier above your like you know your Wet n Wild, your Maybelline, your CoverGirl. They're they're a tier above them in pricing. Like even their mists, their bottles are twenty dollars Canadian. So and like this highlighter palette, it was twenty. It was like twenty dollars as well. So they, they you know this is on par with their brand, with their styling. Thirty five dollars is like right on the money. They like to stay in the realm between. Between like 35 and 37 usually for their palettes and I think that that's a pretty darn good price for this you get tons of products so you get your three highlighters down here and then you get the two up here so let's just kind of do a little application um, well I do have a couple of videos I want to film after this but I don't think it's going to bother if there's you know um, two different highlights on my face Anyway, let's go into tea first, and there isn't a whole lot of fallout, honestly, with these shades, and that's why I think they're a lot like, and see, even the texture, can you see the texture on that pan? It's very hard for me to pick it up. It's the same type of texture you would get in those delicate dew highlighters, but yeah, so we've got tea. And just that tiny little bit. And I'm just working tea. And then I'm going to take the other side. This is the Luxy. This is their 181. This is the JD Weighty brush set. 
and I probably have a little bit of blush still on this side, but like, can you? such a pretty glow. It's not chunky. It's not choppy. It's just glow and it's so pretty. All right, so now that I've got tea on that side, I think I'm going to go into a little bit of lace, which is this really pinky kind of icy. And I'm going to layer that just on the top. Wow. And that is tea and lace. See how pretty that is? And I think I'm going to go in to lace and I'm going to put a little bit of that in my inner corner. I'm going to try and use my finger. We'll see how this goes. Look how pretty that is. It just turned that pink and made it into like such a pretty inner corner. I'm going to be so happy to wear this look today. All right, so the next side we will just, I'm just cleaning off my brush right now. And this time I'm going to go into the like more champagne one, Clutch. start dabbing like look at that so clutch is definitely a little bit more blinding in some parts just because it's so much lighter and I'm just popping a little on my nose oh that's so pretty and then I'm going to try with the other end I'm just gonna go in to that knit shade and I know this is dark, so I just want to see what it does. Hmm. Ooh, it does change it into a more golden-y highlight. It seems pretty wearable for my skin, though. Like, is that... Is that a thing? I don't know. That's so weird. So I am interested to see if that works on someone with darker skin. Now I'm just like doing do everywhere. <laughs> doing the do everywhere. But I do love this highlighting palette. This is so pretty. It's so glowy and it's naturally glowy. You can pile it on if you want. Obviously like this is kind of getting out of this world glowy and when you look up at me like you can't see a specific like shimmer it just looks really delicate and nice and I love this blush draping kind of thing that's going on right now on my face um I wrote her name down I'm sorry, I keep forgetting it, and I wrote it down because I think I'm getting into her channel a lot lately. Lauren May Beauty, and she did this video on blush draping. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. So I actually did a different version of this yesterday with a peach color that was in the Lime Prime Venus XL palette. Um, and then today I used the Huda Beauty Neon palette, the pink one, and I used these two shades, and I used it as blush, I used it as the inner corner highlight, really like smoked it out on my face. It was beautiful, like oh, it's just, it's beautiful. But yes, back to the highlighting palette. Honestly guys, if you love Rach Loves, and I, I've been watching her for quite some time now. Uh, she is a Canadian YouTuber, so if you are Canadian and you want some, you know, home peeps, 
then definitely go check her out. I'm definitely going to leave her deets down below because I love this. This is beautiful. This is something that I, you know, I will use and will love because it's beautiful. Like the delicate, these ones, and it's funny too, because I do like these highlights. These are a beautiful highlight, but something about putting these two on, like either one on the skin, it's very wet. I don't know if it's exactly the same or what, but yes, let's just go into some quick swatches. I just want to show you exactly what they look like on my skin tone, which is like a light medium. And yeah, then we can uh, wrap up this video. Watching. I put a little music over top of it because I just wanted to kind of concentrate on the swatching. I don't know how Tati does that on her shoulders. That's so hard I can barely see. I don't know what I was doing. I just, you know, wanted to try it out. You know, you know, we wanted to be bougie like Tati. But yeah, anyway guys, I love you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this. I think this is probably one of my favorite purchases from Pixie so far. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever. I will leave links down below, hopefully, where you can find this. I know you can find it on Pixie's website, but I'm not quite sure if you can find it, like, on Shoppers or anything. We'll see. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I know I've said that ten times. And uh, yeah, Mwah. bye!